Hey everybody, Sirius313, and we're back again. This one's going to be a little bit longer of a video. It's something that you guys have wanted and asked for. Uh, we are finally getting around to uh, add-ons. We're going to be, I'm going to show you how to add on vehicles uh, in slots. This is by Ravali. It's the police and EMS vehicle add-ons. He has 284 vehicles that you could possibly add in here. So just going to show you a few things down here in his uh, site. If you were wondering what vehicles work, you can go down here and look and he has them um, set up. So if you want to see what CVPI would work for me in here, you can see all the different CVPIs that he has support for. So without any further ado, we are going to go ahead and get into this. Go ahead and download that. Um, the link will be in the description. Also, follow along with the Chevy Tahoe. I'm doing a 2015 LSSD by Captain14. Now, the reason why I picked this particular Tahoe is because of the light bar. There's multiple options. So it comes with a federal signal, uh, Valor. It comes with a Whalen Liberty, a uh, signal Argent, and just a bunch of awesome stuff. He makes great models. So I'm going to show you how to add on this vehicle. So for those of you that don't know, there is a difference between a replacement when you're actually replacing different files from when you are actually adding on and making a police slot. So we're going to open up Open 4 real quick just to get that ready. And we are going to go into the copy folder. I'm going to copy police EMS. The mod itself, just move this over here, into the vehicle install folder. And we'll go ahead and extract this mod. So it does take a little bit extra time as you will see when I open it uh, you'll understand why there's a lot of files in here. So uh, basically what it gives you is by author, by vehicle, game configuration file, you don't have to worry about any of this. Um, basically I'll show you this. So by author you can look and see all the different vehicles. So if we wanted to see what BX Bugs has support for, it's right there. If we want to see uh, the vehicle, just by vehicle, like if we're looking for Tahoe like we are, you're just going to go right here, 2015, and you're going to pick the LSSD by Captain, which is what we are doing. So just grab all of this, copy, and we're just going to go ahead and make another folder called Tahoe. So we'll make a Tahoe folder, which is where we're going to extract the actual Tahoe in. So we got the README and the car variation ready. So let's go back and do our copy and we'll just get the vehicle itself. Just copy it, paste it over here. This is just business as usual, 7-zip and extract. So now that we have all of what we need here, we can go ahead and let's mess myself up. There we go. I'm going to get rid of this readme because we don't need that. So all we need is what came with um, what came with the other files. Okay. So now you should have your Tahoe files and your new readme. So we're going to go ahead, open up this readme and see what it says. Um, you can download the vehicle from right here. He always gives you a link. Great. This is the vehicle name. Rename three to four vehicle files, Tahoe 15. Very important. So that's our first step. So we're going to go right here into the Sheriff uh, 2 slot and name this Tahoe 15. Remember, we're not putting this in Sheriff 2. They're not replacing anything, so they need to be renamed differently. Tahoe 15. This is going to be its own slot that with... That with Simple Trainer, you can go ahead and bring it up. So all the files are named Tahoe 15, just like it asked. Now, I'm going to stop you right here because it says we go to Patch Day and it gives us all the information. Um, what I'm going to tell you is don't follow this. Because we have a different way, a more simpler way of doing this. And shout out to Runt from Runt's Gaming. Uh, he showed me how to do this. It's his way that he um, does, and it keeps everything in the same patch day. So all you do is go over here to your Open 4, Update, X64, DLC Packs, and Patch Day 9 and G. Go ahead and go X64, Levels, GTA 5, Vehicle RPF, and we want to edit this so it goes into the Mods folder. So copy it. Now it shows we are in the Mods folder, just like we want to be. We'll stretch this out just a little more, uh, and we'll grab our Tahoe 
three right here. Go ahead and pull that over. And now it's in. So let's go ahead and take a look at the YFT. See if the 3D model is indeed there. And it is. We're not going to zoom in because that takes forever. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why that happens. Alright. So what's nice about this particular way that Runt does this is... If everything is in patch day nine, you know where to go if you need to change a um, skin. You just go right here to the YTD and you go to edit. And this brings up the texture library where you'll be able to change out the skin, the lights, um, anything like that. So we'll just go ahead and X out of there. So now that we have it in here, we need to go for our second step in the readme. And that is going to be the car variations. Each car variation has a change in it that you need to pay attention to, so I'm going to show you that. So we have car variation, and remember, he gives a different one. I want you to do the one that I'm doing, because it works for all of them. So you're just going to go back to GTA, don't be in the mods folder. Go to update, X64, DLC, and look for Valentine's 2. This is what you want. DLC, and we'll go common, data. And right about here is where you want to go ahead, because there's our car variation. We want to copy this to the mods folder. Now, very important, before you get going on this, you need to uh, work with precision, because one, of the, one, one mess up here can ruin your whole game with each one of these. So, car variation, this is what we're working with. We're going to take a copy of that and move it to our original metas folder. That way we have it in here if we need to go back. We can put that back in and it fixes the game. Now, always make sure that you are in the mods folder. You do not want to do this not in the mods folder. You will mess it up. So now once we have that in there, I don't know why it... I meant to copy that out. Uh, let's see here. So we'll just copy one of these. And we're going to paste it right down here. So we want to open this and see Tahoe 15 right there. That's how it should be. And go down. We want to make sure that Tahoe 15, this is all good. So hit Control A. Control C, which copies. And just X out of that. And we can delete that one. Now, the key thing is that we have that on the post, uh, the clipboard, so we're going to drag down the real one out of here. We're going to open it, and it says after the variation data file, so we're just going to hit an enter here. So you have uh, variation data, blank, and then item. So then just go ahead and hit control V, or you can right click and hit paste. I like doing control V, so let's see, we'll do paste, and up at the top, you should see Tahoe 15. That's it guys, just file, save that car variation, and then take it, you're in the edit, and drag it and drop it in here, you'll see it compressed, it changed, and then we're done with that. So hit GTA 5, we'll go back again. Now we need to do the next step, which is the vehicles meta. So just go to vehicles. Now this one is located the same place everywhere. So we'll just go ahead and go to update, update.rpf, common, data, levels, GTA 5, and vehicles meta right here. And we'll go ahead and show this in the mods folder because that's what we want. And you can see I already have this uh, modified. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. So I'm going to pull down a copy into the original and put one down here. Now the reason why this is already modified is because of the last uh, vehicle I did with BX Bugs' CVPI. If you had that vehicle in there, if yours says compressed, you need to pull it out and actually work from it. Do not put the actual vehicle's meta that's that's in here into here. It won't do anything. It will just delete out all your ga your vehicles. So we open up the vehicles. We're going to open up the vehicles right here. And we could see everything's Tahoe 15, handling line, everything's good. So what we want to do is control A, control C. Now we're just copying this line out into our real one right here that we dragged from down here. This contains all the vehicles. So now you can see my last vehicle right here. So we'll go to initial datas and we'll put a space. 
We'll hit enter. There's a space there. And that's where you want to hit control V and put in this vehicle. Now you'll go up and you'll see your vehicle right there. Tahoe 15. Everything is set just the way it should be. And when you do your next vehicle, same thing. You just hit enter and paste the vehicle in. Now, the README does have something important. We'll go all the way down on the vehicles. If we look at the README, the one thing we are going to follow is at the bottom here, uh, above text relationships, it gives you this. This is the interior code for the vehicle. So we'll just hit copy on this, Tahoe 15. It says what it needs to. And we'll go right over here. And it said above text relationships. All I did was scroll down the vehicle meta to text relationship, put a space in, and hit control V. And now we'll just move over an item. I don't know if you need to do this, but I'm going to do it because I like it to look flush with everything else. So now we just hit file, save, and we got it. So now we have edited the vehicle and the car variation and the vehicle, and that's really all that you need to do for this vehicle. And remember, we got to make sure that this is the one, and then we need to drag it into here, and we'll see the numbers change. See the numbers just change? We'll get out of edit mode. We'll go back. We'll go... Don't want to, I want to go back one more. There we go, visual settings. And I want to do something really quick if I have it available. Don't think I do. There it is. This is a radiance setting that I want to set in. Just real quick, your radiance, if you're using it, you just hit edit. Show in mods folder, and right here, I can pop that in. All right, guys, let's go ahead and close this out. I'm going to start up the game, and I'm going to show you how to pull up this vehicle. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, what we're going to do first to get our add-on vehicles, you have to open up your simple trainer. You're going to go to vehicle spawning, and you're going to go down to the bottom where it says spawn vehicle by vehicle uh, model name. Now, all you want to do is it's very important that you remember your vehicle and what it was named. If you try to bring it up by anything else, it will not work. So we know that all of our files were named Tahoe 15 and the game associates that model with the Tahoe 2015. We hit enter and there is our vehicle. We have the 2015 Tahoe by Captain 14, very nice. Now, what you can also do is we have the many light bars and everything that we can put on it. Right now, it's just a slick top. So if we go to vehicle options and we go down to the vehicle components menu, we could go ahead and pick this light bar. We can pick the uh, federal light bar or the argent light bar. We can get the valor light bar. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. Get all three of them. <laughs> I like the, uh, the slick top one myself. So we're going to go ahead, see if we can't get rid of this one. There we go. So let's say we want the vehicle to spawn just like that. Uh, we might have a different skin on it. So what you can do is you can use your simple trainer and just hit go down here. Go to vehicle load save menu and go to save slot. So we'll make this save slot one. So now, let's say I'm out of here and I don't want to bring up, I don't want to have to pick... Um, I don't want to have to write in the name every time I want the vehicle. Oh, let's go ahead and go over here. So we can go to vehicle spawning, or vehicle option, and we can go to our vehicle load menu, and we can hit load slot one. So you have sla save slot one, load slot one, and you have tons of slots. You have like 120 different slots, so you can save it with different skins. And you can see right where it says Sheriff SUV there. So we just click it. And it will load our Sheriff SUV right there with our light bar and the components that we want on top. So not only do you get the add-on, but if you want it to look a certain way when you spawn it, have a certain skin, have certain components, that's all easy to do right there. Unfortunately, if you mess up the variation folder a lot, um, you could go back to the original. But after every one of them that I do, I save. A updated copy like right in here that way I can try to pull it back to the last vehicle but let's say that no matter what you do it's just messing up so we'll open open 4 we'll go to the Grand Theft Auto 5 
Just want to load that up really quickly. Really quickly. Come on. Okay. So, all you do is go to your mods folder, because hopefully you modded in the mods folder. And right where it says update here, you'll just hit edit. And you will just completely delete this folder right here and any other folders that are underneath. Uh, what that does is it completely takes out every modded vehicle, every car variation, and you'll go back to the regular car variation um, vehicle meta. So like I said before, um, patch day 9 NG is where all your car vehicles will go. Uh, Valentine's 2 is the only place you will put the car variations. You will keep pulling that out and editing it. And then you have the vehicle meta, which is just in your common or your update, update, RPF, common data, levels, GTA 5, spot. And that's the only place that we normally would put it anyway. But, like I said, I would, um, after you're done with uh, doing a vehicle, each vehicle, I like to delete it out. Write the name down on something, that way you have it and you know how to pull it up. But that's why the save slots come in handy. Well, alright guys, I am going to stop it here right now. Hopefully you really enjoyed this video. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking and asking about add-ons, add-ons, add-ons. Well, I'm glad that I finally got to show you how to do police car add-ons and let me know uh, what success or what troubles you have with it. Well, Alright guys, until next time, Sirius 313 and I'm out.